Yum, yum! Hey there, Pixel Fondueers. This is Ryan Ernst with the Pixel Fondue crew, and today I'm going over my top 10 features for my Mighty Mouse kit for Moto. I've just dropped the price down from $25 to 10, and I've made it so that it's super easy to customize, even if you don't have a mouse uh, with all those buttons on the side. You can still, uh, if you ha see some menus on this video that you like, you can snatch it up and uh, switch those key bindings over super easy through the kit menus. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, so with that, let's get started. Alright, starting off in no particular order, the first thing I want to go over with you is the mesh hop menus. We've got four different mesh hop menus. This includes mesh hop menu number one, which lets you edit your base mesh or edit your go or switch over to ghost view. You can also uh, duplicate and freeze. You can just regular freeze. You can uh, search your mesh ops, so if you want to bring up your quick search bar there, no more having to open up your panel and then search for it. Then you've also got your delete op on there. On mesh op menu number two, you've got thickens, polygon bevels, merge meshes, material tags, all sorts of really useful stuff. Number three, you get your set polygon type. You've got your duplicate ops, including you know, your mirroring. So if I want to quickly mirror my stuff over, there you go, just a click of the button and you're off to the races. And then the last mesh hop menu is mesh hop, the mesh hop primitives menu, which actually gives you uh, your cube primitives, cylinder primitives, spheres, all your basics, including text. So those are the mesh hop menus. Uh, really useful, really quick, and you don't have to open up your mesh hop panels to do the stuff that you do most often. All right, next up, I'm gonna go over some UV menus with you. So I've got three different menus here to show you. These are pretty sweet. Uh, pretty much anything that you can do in your UV editor here, you can do now with these menus. So, for example, if I wanted to grab this and do a quick unwrap of it, now I've got it unwrapped as a strip. If I want to go ahead and make that a rectangle, oh, got to select the polygons first, make that a rectangle. Then if I wanted to, I don't know, fit that unproportionately. So I've got all of my unwrap tools, including relax and projection. I've got project from uh, view. I've even got uh, shortest path. On the unwrapping menu number two, you've got copy, paste, and uh, cut. You've got delete UVs, you've got export UVs, you've got your fit regular, and you've got fit non-proportional. You've got your pack, mirror, aligns, you've got quick align. Uh, quick align is great. You've got this skewed or something, and you want to quick, quickly align it. Boom. There you go. You're quickly aligned. <laughs> Uh, fit that back there. The third uh, UV menu, you've got Texel Density, so you can copy and paste, you can normalize. You've also got Vertex Maps, you've got uh, UDIM Indicator, you've got your Split and Sew, Symmetry Options, you've got your UV Select, so just quickly select the border, something like that. You've got Island Align, UV Modify, just all the tools that you could want, and my personal favorite is just having that Export UVs right there on that Pi menu to quickly throw this out to an EPS and save it. Absolutely fantastic, I love it. Next up, I'd like to show you some cool menus that save me a lot of time. These are my render size menus. So I've got two of them. Uh, we've got some square textures, like some 1080 by 1080. We've also got 1920 by 1080. I've got, just trying to get all hit all of my bases. So I've got some 4K stuff. I've got some 3300 by 2550. Um, I've got it set up so that you can quickly and easily half your frame size or double your frame size. You can switch over. Uh, say you wanted to save out like a preset. So one of the things that's really cool is I can, uh, on the second render settings, uh, render frame settings menu, I've got a bunch of square settings. So uh, it starts over at 256 and goes all the way up to 8K. Maybe I want to do like a 512 by 512 um, preset. Boom, you can just switch it over and save that out and then quickly switch back to, say, 1920 by 1080. Super easy, um, and it saves me a ton of time. It's also got quick and easy access to your render cameras or your uh, resolution gang if you want to do something custom. So I hope that saves you some time. It definitely has me. I hate when I'm knee-deep in tool properties or moving stuff around, trying to line up the camera, and then I've got to move over to my render settings and you know, forget about what I'm doing. We'll take a break from the menus real quick and I'll show you one of my favorite features and that is just being able to select an item, hit spacebar, and rename it. So let me rename this like blade base. 
there you go. You can do that with uh, your things in the shader trees. You can do it in, with your items. You can do it with uh, whatever you've got selected. It's fantastic. It saves me a ton of time having to go in there and right click and rename or do whatever. Uh, and it just makes keeping things organized a breeze. Next up, I'll go over some modeling menus with you. I've got all of your most popular modeling tools like drag weld, diagonal redirect, collapses, merges, edge extrudes on modeling menu number two. I've got element move, smooth, thicken, push, element push, split, bridge, radial align, and on number three, you've got absolute scaling, faceted subdivides, freeze, and a couple of different deformers like your bins and your uh, twists. Then in that same vein, there's a topology menu where you can turn on and off topology view, turn on your uh, topology pins, smooths, all that stuff. You've also got sculpting and painting tools to quickly just be able to pop these up without having to go search for them and do all of your basic modeling tasks. A smaller but great feature is that you can now right click images inside your shader tree like this PSD and go down to open and default application. So next up I'm going to show you kind of a custom feature. So you can either use the default key bindings of up and down on uh, the arrow keys or you can map those to your mouse. If you've got a special mouse that can do uh, mouse wheel tilting, I'd recommend setting it up like I've got here where to the left is down and to the right is up. So that means I can tilt my mouse wheel to the right to select more and I can tilt my mouse wheel to the left to select less. Then if I hold shift and tilt my mouse wheel to the right or I hit the up arrow, you can actually see that it selects, uh, it does a selection expansion. Now if I do shift left on my mouse wheel or down on the arrow keys, that actually does a select contraction. I've also got it set up to do select connected, so I can do from there to there, and I do that by holding alt shift left, and that selects in between. Then I've also got a, a select loop if I do alt shift to the right or up on the keys. So that's pretty great. We can also take that up a notch with control shift uh, left, which is going to do a coplanar. Oh, let me switch over to my base mode here. So then I can do control shift for coplanar. Turn that on, and then I can select the whole coplanar edge. Or I can do Control Shift uh, to the right and bring up my uh, select lasso styles. So I can switch over my lasso to, uh, you know, like a lasso. I can do a rectangle. I can do circle. Whatever it is, now I can quickly do that without having to go up and adjust it up in my selection settings up top. That's all for the selection keys, but then I've got special keys set to Control Alt Shift uh, down and Control Alt Shift up. So that's left and right on my mouse again. If I go Control Alt Shift um, down, it actually deletes. This is super easy because I don't have to take my hand off my mouse anymore to hit my delete or my backspace keys. I can just do Control Alt Shift left on my mouse wheel tilt and it deletes what I'm working on or I can do Control alt shift right and I get my tool properties. I use these all the time. They are actually super useful. Uh, not having to take my hand off the mouse to hit my delete keys saves me a ton of time, even though you wouldn't think it would be that much, but just not having to move my hand off my mouse is fantastic. All right, let's get back to talking about some menu, shall we? So one of my favorites is actually my mesh creation menu. This is awesome because I've got two custom scripts here, copy to new mesh and cut to new mesh plus mesh op. So for example, if I want to cut to new mesh plus mesh op, what this does is it creates a new mesh, it cuts this uh, my selection off of there, and then it opens up this so I can drop on a mesh op if I want like a mirror. There you go. So it actually populates that mesh is down here at the bottom now, and it's got that mirror on it. Now say maybe I don't want to put a mesh op on it every time. That's pretty easy. All you got to do is go to cut to new mesh op, and then when it comes up with this mesh op search, you just click off of it and you're done. And it's moved it over to a new mesh for you. This is super useful. That pie menu also has, you know, your basic primitives like cube, cylinder, capsule, 
Sphere, all your basics, but these two are my bread and butter. I love copy to mesh op and or copy to new mesh plus mesh op and cut to new mesh plus mesh op. All right, last but not least on my favorite features of my Mighty Mouse kit are all the different ways that you can control your viewport and your layouts here. So I've actually got tons of pie menus for controlling each section of this moto layout. Um, I've got a couple of different key bindings like control alt shift spacebar will collapse your toolbar if you don't want to see that. Then you've got a couple of different menus for controlling this layout. So say you open up your toolbox and you want to switch over to your UV menus or topology or your context box. You can do that with one menu. Um, say you just want to uh, open up your UVs over here on the side. You can control all of those on a different menu. Switch over to preview, open up your schematic view, whatever you want on this side. That's controlled by one menu. Then uh, in the middle is controlled by another menu. So I can switch over to you know topologies, uh, mesh fusion view. I can switch over to my modeling view. Um, all the different stuff that I want uh, to control this mi middle menu, it's super easy. And then I've also got render passes on that same one. So then we've also got uh, your bottom view set up here too. So as a, on another menu, so I can set up my you know model or my UVs or whatever it is down there also. Open up my preset, super easy. All these menus uh, you can map to whatever you want and quickly control your moto layout. So on top of those, you've also got a menu for controlling your um, different view inside this, your, your whatever OpenGL port you're in. So if I wanted to, um, say, make active same as inactive, or say, uh, change my active style to default, um, or make my, uh, change my inactive style to, I don't know, uh, shaded, or make my inactive style invisible so I can just focus on what I want. Um, all that stuff is super easy and it's uh, right in here. I can toggle on and off my wireframe overlays if I want. Um, just super easy stuff. And I've also got a menu there for toggling on and off lights, toggling off locators, uh, texture locators, uh, background shading. You can toggle on and off your verts, your work plane, um, your cameras, you know, whatever it is. These menus all work together to make it so that you can control your layout without having to go through a ton of different settings one by one. Uh, instead, you just map the menus that you want to use to whatever you want to use them on and uh, have fun with it. All right, I really hope that you have enjoyed this uh, brief look into my Mighty Mouse kit. Now, I know that it's set up for a 12-button mouse by default, but I've also included, if you come up to kits and you go to the Mighty Mouse icon here, I've got a menu for assigning these to whatever you want. So if you want to use these menus and start, you know, you can edit them yourself or you can set them up to be your own key bindings, whatever it is. So you, you really like the idea of the frame size pie menu, but Alt-7 just doesn't work for you. Come in here and change it and then update it. Um, I hope that you do. I hope that you like it. Um, I hope that you find some use out of it. I have dropped the price from $25 down to $10. So you can get it now. All these different features and tons more that you can learn about in the docs or in the link down below to this PDF. Um, all these different menus, tons and tons of stuff for 10 bucks. So I hope that you, um, hope that you give it a try. I'd really appreciate it. Yum, yum. Uh, pie menus, right? So one of my favorites is actually my mesh option.